and he wanted to get you a video of Mr. Bruno. Uh, he's doing really good. Um, we're working through that anxiety really, really well. Um, I don't have a whole lot of new things to show you as of right now. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to go ahead and drop that leash and do some off-leash healing with him. Come on, buddy. Good. Which is a really good way to get him, you know, he understands heal. He knows what that means, but doing it off-leash is kind of a different ball game for him. He's very smart and he knows when I'm holding that leash. And so when I go ahead and drop it and he doesn't feel that anymore, he gets a little bit more worried about where I am. And, you know, we actually see an increase in the focus, but an increase in the kind of franticness too. Um, in that he's he uses that leash as a way to make sure he knows where you are and so when we kind of drop it we, we drop the training wheels and he's doing it on his own and it's it's a little bit tougher for him so um, it's good to kind of drop that so he's uh, getting some good practice on it and it just takes him kind of to the next level of having to trust you a lot and having to follow you because he doesn't feel where you are with that leash good job buddy um, and so there's my house I got I don't know if you saw him I have two of my dogs out yep good so they're out and they're just being some distractions for us and uh, obviously you know I'm at this at dead end street so working in the street isn't a huge deal and I trust him that um, if a car comes by he's gonna follow me and everything but I have that leash on just in case it's dragging under there somewhere back there there it is um, Bruno down good man good job big guy so um, you know, doing these downstays, me walking away, off leash healing. Come on, come on, crazies. I'll get my dogs to run around and be stupid by him. Um, he is holding these downstays really, really well, obviously, with even with these two crazies running around. Um, he's obviously a little bit interested, but holding that down, and I'm gonna make sure that, oh gosh, they're being really crazy. <laughs> they do this like once a day, and now is the moment when they get the, the zoomies. Bruno, come. Good boy, come good, and it's good. So this is just kind of just started filming just to see what would happen with him, um, take you through what we do, and this is what I do with a lot of training sessions. Is I, you know, what I'm doing with him now is increasing the amount of unpredictability in the other variables. So you know, taking him to more stores. Obviously, he does really well there. Lots of unpredictable circumstances, and having him work through those, and letting him you know with those dog with my dogs that were just running um that was very unpredictable and he got fixated and he got a little distracted by them and he got a little adrenalized that's why he was fixated on them and you know if i would have not done anything not called him to me um there's a good chance he would have broken his down there's a good chance he would have bruno down good there's a good chance he would have wanted to run over to those dogs not that he was going to be aggressive or anything but he just got stimulated he got excited because these stupid dogs are being silly and excited so um it's a really good way to practice that impulse control and this is the stuff that i want you to do with him around alta like let her have free time and make him work and you know if they they can have play time but it's got to be very controlled and very supervised and he has to earn it so just like we kind of we sometimes do a work for food where they have to do obedience for all of their food. Um, that's kind of hard to do with him, Mr. Sensitive Tummy and the raw foods. But um, working for food and or working for playtime, working for freedom, working for affection. There's other things that we can have him work for. And I think working for, you know, playtime and free time with Alta is a good thing to do. Where, you know, maybe Alta's running around, you're throwing a ball for him or for her, sorry. Um, and he's got to hold a down stay or he has to heal or he has to come when called or he has to, you know, wait at the door, or hold a sit or hold a place command, something, something. He's got to do some sort of obedience. Hi, Theo. Good boy. Um, before you release him and he has to be calm when you release him. So he's calm right now. So if I release him, he probably isn't going to do anything stupid. He's probably not going to just run up and bully these guys over and bowl them over. He's going to stay nice and calm. He'll probably come to me um, if I release him because that's all we've been doing and that's what I want is for him to focus okay okay Bruno yeah good boy and I'm not gonna give him any direction here just kind of kind of let him be free and see what he wants to do these guys are a little bit more calm they love their sticks hi to Bruins I know good man he's just like I'm just gonna down I don't know and it's stressful it is it's hard when we when we ask him to have this much control around different things and just in general in general Bruno come Good, good. But that's why this is kind of, Bruno, come. Good. This is why this is kind of a reset button for him to help him understand that, hey, no matter what happens, Bruno, down. Good. There are still rules. 
doesn't matter what's going on around you you still have to listen and I'm not gonna come up and make you feel better you've got to cope with this on your own so um, every time we do this he get he gets a little bit stronger you know he's 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 not as stressed about doing this anymore um, I think his body language looks a lot more different than the, that first video I showed you when he was around dogs um, he's more just like okay he just kind of settles into it he's like, okay I'm downing he's actually a little bit like pouty about it he's like fine you're making me do hard things and I don't want to but he's not as stressed about it he's not as you know you don't see the panting you don't see the the um the shaking quite as much um so it's good he's showing a little bit more casual interest which is good because i want him to be okay around you know obviously alta and other dogs and this is a good way to make sure that he's creating neutral experiences where dogs aren't scary dogs aren't gonna run up to him and do you know put up put a lot of pressure on him um, but he also doesn't get that reinforcement of hey I'm gonna bark and they're gonna go away and that makes me feel better he's gonna do obedience and he's gonna cope with it and he's gonna get through it and I'm gonna release him and let him have some free time by himself Bruno come yeah good boy let's go buddy come on good man and so that's the kind of goal here is just we we do a lot of repetitions of this good boy um, until he can kind of handle this a lot better and you're gonna continue to do repetitions of this as well um and and this is really the biggest way that we make progress with dogs like him so anyway i hope you're having a good memorial weekend i think you're out of town but um we're gonna go get some dinner here in a minute for this big guy so you guys have a good rest of your long weekend